Hello and welcome to Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. This is Benji and today I'm joined by 037 Wolf, the Synchro Duelist. What's up, Leo? How you doing? <laughs> What's up, Benji? Not much, man. I've just been seeing all these duel videos of you posting how to play the, the Synchron deck. It looks pretty crazy. I've always been a fan of all these TG Hyper Light crazy draw decks. Uh, they're a lot of fun and I'm sure a lot of people are looking into it since all the Dawn of Majesty cards were released and people are trying to find the right build. One of my local competitors, Douglas, was playing it. So, And I know he's like in Wolf Ground somewhere. You know, really excited to like show people how this works. Yeah, it's uh, with the new support from Dawn of Majesty, it, it boosted the decks consistency and viability because of two cards the main ones being overtake synchro overtake and start a synchron those two cards is exactly what the deck needed like you needed a way to not lose on your normal summon which is what start a synchron does and what overtake does like if you uh get your junk summon disrupted and it goes to the graveyard you can just easily trigger doppel which is the main like mvp of the deck right that's the main issue having to trigger doppel with junk synchron's effect and if that gets got disrupted you're like well how do i how do i get it out of my hand and that's exactly what um the dawn walker and overtake set up and right. it's insane like it's perfect it's perfect it's, it, it's perfect yeah it wasn't until recently that i realized synchro overtake actually summoned from the graveyard which is like wild yes it's insane like it's it's always live that's the thing like if it said anything but the grave or anything but like it just like if it was just like a uh, from deck like special from deck or add from deck it would not be as it would still be decent but it won't be as good as it is now because the issue with it would be recursion and recovery play and that's this particular card does like if you wasted all your junks you won't have to stress because like you can just add it back from your grave it's insane like it is really really good all right so so if anyone's no, uh, new to the series this is the how to play series i bring on someone who knows how to play a deck they tell us how to play the deck over a few games on ygo pro but today we're actually using ygo omega because it has a ranked mode so we're looking towards getting a little bit more legitimate meta than i normally get but you know i uh, can only control so much what happens um so we're gonna play a few games i'm gonna make the plays that Leo tells me to make, and I'm just gonna ask the questions that you, the audience, might have. I myself have not played the deck, so hopefully I'll be asking the right questions. Uh, I've been watching all your videos on it lately. They're tons of fun. I like the little music that clearly plays every time uh, the synchro plays start. <laughs> it's noticeable yeah. and entertaining, and I enjoy it greatly. That's awesome, man. All right, so if anyone is not familiar with the cards in the deck list, I'll do a quick card by card. Uh, we'll discuss any choices that you might have made that other people may not be trying. I don't know how many other people there is to look to for deck inspiration because you're kind of the guy for synchro decks. Um, yeah. And you're pretty like high rated on DB at the moment as far as I know. Yeah. So let's just uh, do a quick card by card and then we'll get into some games. So we are on three Stardust Synchron, three Junk Synchron, three A Caster Dawnwalker, one copy <laughs> of Fire Ant uh, Ascaster. Is that the same name? Yeah, Ascatator yeah, the Ant. <laughs> So the your... pronunciation is the thing we're like all debating. How do you pronounce it? Is it like MBT said? A skater or a skater? <laughs> um, MBT says everything wrong. So whatever he said is probably <laughs> wrong. All right. We're on three Junk Converter, three copies of Doppel Warrior, three copies of Kaliga Claw Crow, uh, one copy of Stardust Trail, three copies of Tuning, three copies of Synchro Overtake, three copies of Triple Tactics Talents, one copy of Cyber Synchron. We're on three Forbidden Droplet, one Reinforcement of the Army, one Monster Reborn, one Stardust Illumination, one Magical Midbreaker Field, three Infinite <laughs> Impermanence, one Called by the Grave, and the extra we're on, one Celestial Double Star Shaman, one Martial Metal Marcher, one Cupid Pitch, kind of a new card, Burst of Destiny, yeah. uh, one Herald of the Arclight, one XL Synchron, one Junk Speeder, one Junk Warrior who's mostly here to show to people, uh, one TG Hyper Librarian, one Stardust Charge Warrior, one Cyphering Lord Omega, my favorite card, one Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, one Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, one copy of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, Satellite Warrior, a Baron de Fleur, and in the Side deck we're on, three Evenly Matched, three Solemn Judgment, one Imperial Order, one Red Reboot, one Harpy's Feather Duster, three Twin Twister, and three Dark Ruler No More. Uh, any comments on like the latest variation that you're currently playing? Uh, I know the YCS is tomorrow at the day of recording. Or The main concept of the deck, right? It's basically getting to speeder as consistent as possible, right? And in order to do that while setting up your grave to have the Junk Summon be viable, right? You need something to fulfill that, right? So that's exactly what Dawnwalker is meant to be doing. So Dawnwalker, it's uh, it's you discard any card, special summon it, and summon the ant from hand or or deck. So it's always going to be able to be some summoned. So then uh, what that initiates is a chaos ruler, and the chaos ruler in this particular deck is basically essentially a pot of prosperity because it mills everything 
that you would want to mill. It gets you the, the, the level twos that you need in the grave to set up the junk summon. It gets you a doppel to your hand if you need it. It gets the starter sinker to the graveyard. It just does so much. So with that in mind, that's the little consistency boost that the deck needed um, alongside the Synchro Overtake and uh, and Starter Synchro. So that's generally the main line of lines of play you do. Of course, there's some you know, like uh, obscure lines of play you can do depending on how you get disrupted, how you get interacted with. But for the most part, that's essentially what the, the goal is. The main objective is to set up that particular play. All right. um, then there's like a crazy sequence through a bunch of synchro monsters trying to end on specific boards. Yeah, exactly. And then it's very the, dependent on the matchup. And the follow up is like satellite warrior and just like blow up everything and attack for game. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, I'm sure it'll become more clear as to the specific goals as we play through some games. So you ready to get some games? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we will. Hopefully, it'll be much clear. Maybe you got to be in the game so I can join. Oh, that might go be right, nice. All right. Well, I won the dice roll. I guess we're going first. Yeah, you want to go first. Um, This hand looks pretty good. Uh, Well, they opened Shifter. Never mind. Oh, no. That's not good. That's never good. Well, yeah, that's uh, never good. Uh, I think, well, <laughs> I mean, I guess what we have to do is just Omega Control. So we'll just discard the, the Converter. I mean, I guess we can still do something. It's not its not horrible. I mean, this hand plays around Shifter kind of in a way because we can still make an Omega and we can still make a Crystal Wing. So we'll have three forms of interaction. So most of the time, uh, the only decks that are playing this card right now is going to be um, fl uh, Flundries. So I think we're okay. Yeah, activate the, the Converter. Uh, yeah, activate that. Go to Converter. Converter. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to end, and we go into the Omega here. Got to get used to this. All right. Uh, I mean, they could be on Storm. They odd, they probably can't get over Omega. We might need I, I think we're gonna, also. Uh, they, we're gonna, we're just going to straight up rip. What's up? We're just going to we're gonna just straight up rip here. We're going to rip right here. Okay. They are on Flawanderie, so good call. Okay, so then now we go overtake. Reveal that, yeah. Special summon. Uh, one day I'll figure out how to use a special summon. All right. Yeah. And then we're going to go some normal summon the junk converter. All right. And we're going to just go for the speeder play. All right. Now, I don't recall there being all that many um, targets for a speeder. Yeah, there's mainly three, but yeah. So one, two, three, and then uh, start us with trigger, searching us illumination. Yeah, and then we don't use that because they'll get banished. So then all we do just do is make a crystal wing here. All right, using the junk in the uh, speed. Oh, well, hang on, we could we could actually make a baroness if we if we really wanted to. Um, what do you we, think we can be better go... in the matchup? Um, I think. I think if we go, oh, we can actually go Stardust. We go Stardust, charge, draw a card, and then go Baroness. Okay. Charge, Warrior. Yeah, I think that. Stardust, charge, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be better. Like, we lose our we lose our, our, our Cyber Synchro protection, but, like, I think seeing more cards would be better for us. Yeah, well, playing under Shifter, probably. Oh, nice. That's good. Okay, we do tuning. And then we just go into Baroness. In attack or defense? Um, let's put them in defense, I think. Just in case they actually get the playoff, right? Yeah. And then we set their imperm. So, like, we have two interactions to their four cards. So, if we, if we, if we stop, I think the main one we stop is, like, the field spell, because that's, like, the, the additional summon, and then we just imperm the, the summon, you know? So, I think, I think we're fine. We should be okay. And Fleur can negate the effect to the card, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we let this go through. Now, the only problem with letting them dig is if they're on, like, uh, like what? Uh, Dark Ruler or something? Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been seeing that lately. They've been main decking. What the heck is this? Is this... Uh, it's a Samorg Field spell. It's pretty good. It says, uh, uh, your wind, your wing beast gain, your wind wing beast gain 300 attack and defense. You can reveal a high level, uh, wind wing beast monster. And this term, you can normal summon them all for one less tribute. And if you control a wind wing beast, you can trigger an effect to let you do a normal summon of a wind wing beast. Oh, of a wing oh. beast. So it's like a secondary field spell. It's good for if, like, you want to play set rotation. 
Oh, okay, okay, that's fair enough. Um, we, it, both of its uh, effects trigger, so we can just pop it if he activates it. Okay, that's fair. Okay, we'll wait for that for yeah. a prompt. Although they do have the, we banish the Stree, so they get to add back the monster, and they can like chain block at the moment. But I think we just imperm, right? We just imperm this, and then he won't get the summon. That is true. He might have the book. Well, he didn't book. So now we might have to negate the Elbors, but if we... Oh, they, they oh perfect! Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, we would. Uh, yeah, th that was sufficient now, I think, because it was like... They're very linear, what, what they what they can do. Um, okay, so I'm assuming they're going to go first, right? That's most likely the case. That would make sense. Okay, so um, we're going to take out... Maybe uh, I'm not sure if we have to put in the, the reboots. The reboot, cause we have to put like Dark Ruler for sure. So take out take out the tunings. Take out the tunings and um, tuning so you right click for oh. the Dark Ruler. So right click it. Yeah. And then right click. Right. The, yeah. And right. then swap. There you go. And then we're going to take out. Uh, um, Call of the Grave does nothing. Does little to, little to nothing. So I think take out Call of the Grave. Put it in reboot because the trap that allows them to to um summon right all right and then they, and some of them are on the 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 feather storm so that's gonna be quite good there let me see if we can go evenly because it's just evenly blanket everything so maybe one take out take out the uh i'm not sure if the bint breakers would be good or not because it stops the riser but i think i'd prefer an evenly yeah let's take out the even yeah take out that swap that for evenly tactics i think they're always gonna be live so that's gonna give us access to our side deck so I think we'll keep that in. Take out a Caligo another for evening. another. Evening. Yeah, okay. and that's I think that, I think it should be fine. That that's like the main uh, the thing with this deck. It's a more of a field type of thing. Okay, this this is kind of good. This, you know, it, of course. Oh, this is nice. So I'm we do the drop. I'm sure or... I agree with talents in this match. I mean, if they're doing all their plays, then talents will be live, I guess. Yeah. So what uh, what you normally uh, okay. So that's good. So the moment you trigger their field spell, they're gonna want to be like, oh, I'm, I'll just summon them. I'll just summon now, and then that's where you have the talents and the and the droplets to capitalize on. With. All right. So they banish the tree to use the extra normal summon on Robina. Robina's gonna add storm winds. Good thing they play some wind yeah. monsters. That's kind of cool. Uh, Elgin for Empen. Empen's probably going to search City of Dreams, and then they will summon Barrier Statue. Yeah, that's like the play, right? Yeah, that's the standard play. Barrier and uh, Empen. And then maybe like a setback row. Yeah, the setback row. So so it's four unknown, right? Yeah, four unknown. No, three unknown. Because so we know he has the, the trap. Oh, this is nice. This is perfect. This is This is exactly what we wanted to get. Okay, so we right away we go for the the dark ruler. All right. Because the, the droplets will be there to hit the Ryza, because that's like their their main uh, secondary play that they do. All right. So everybody gets booked. Oh, does he have judgment? I guess that would make sense if they're setting two. What would be the other set? Oh no, maybe it's the trap. It oh. might be the trap. It might be giving them the opportunity to do the tribute summon. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yes, this is nice. Okay, so now we go for the overtake. And we're going to... Oh, let's see. What do we do? Do we add or special? I think we... I think we special, yeah? Oh, yeah, we I think we special. special. Uh, barrier st oh, we didn't get the barrier statue. Yeah, it's uh, just random, so I was confused again. New to Omega. <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah, we spe we'll special it. We'll special it. All right. Um, do we want to do anything else? Uh, no, not yet. Because that's yeah. So we just normal summon that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is where we're gonna. Get, the talents is gonna shine. Do so we what we can do here is uh. We could easily we could just stop his, his thing now right here, or we wait for the Ryza. But then I think by then he's just gonna be able to add back the Robin with the moment he tributes this, you know? Yeah. So but there is a concern if we if we don't let him get to the tribute summon, he can still do a summon off of the map on our normal. That is true. That is true. Yeah, that is true. So yeah, I think we wait, wait for the Ryza tribute summon. Yeah. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, that's 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 a much better play. I guess he's just searching the last name. I don't think that one does anything here. 
So that's yeah, oh, that's how you, yeah. Search the, yeah. So there's the tree. Like and... Wait, Wait, what? He already has the Ryzen? That's a possibility. Uh, that's an M-Pen. Oh, we're fine then. What the? Well, so do you want to save Could the Dark Ruler? Or do you want to, like, do things in defense? Um, well, we could do, we can play around it. We just put everything in defense. We just wait for the, the, the Ryza. All right. Okay. So, somebody's got the map now. Okay. So it, it's all, it's all, the, it, uh, I think we have to go for the, the talents now. We got to, we either go draw or, or we either rip or rip take. Cause we can do either. Um, I think we draw. I think we gotta, we gotta see something here. All right. Let's draw some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Pot of Greed. Um, oh, you're reborn. That's really good. That's really nice. All right. Do we normal? <laughs> yeah, we normal now. And we just go for the speeder. The only issue now is if that trap is something like relevant, you know? All right. So he's trying to normal. So yeah, that's fine. Now we're going to be dropletting away something. Yeah. Um, it was going to banish, right? Yeah, he's going to banish. Um, well, we can stop this one because he doesn't have another way to normal. Or we can let him uh, waste the isn't tribute. Isn't the trap like not once per turn though? The the trap, the that one, isn't it like not once per turn? Um, you can only use this effect once per turn. I guess it's not. I don't know. Do they play more than one? I think it's a one of. Uh, yeah, maybe. But just the, the obscurity that might be like, oh, they might play too. But I don't know. Okay. Um, oh, he banished yeah. it so he can add it back, I guess. Yeah. It's also not engraved to do the, the book anymore. Yeah. So. Okay, so it's back. Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Oh, there's the Ryza. There's the Ryza. There he is. Okay, there. And then now we just drop it. Uh, we'll banish, we'll discard both the trail and the converter. All right. Well, whenever it lets me respond. Um, yes. I would like to drop it. Uh, trail and converter. Yeah. Now we get to negate both of these monsters. Ooh, his own droplet. Oh! Uh, oh, this is fine. This is good. Well, now oh, wait, no, it's not good. good. No, it's not good. Because that means that his, his... Oh, wait, no. Well, this is fine. He was meant to send his guy, right? Yeah. Um. Then he messed up. He messed up the point. big time. <laughs> <laughs> this he is really over. missed the point. Yeah. Oh my god. That was a, what the heck? It's over. Then you go speeder. All right. And then you chain block it, which is really nice. This is the good thing about converter and doppel. And now it because you... both M pens are negated, we can just go in attack position. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And they're all reduced, right? They're all yeah. They're thirteen, fourteen. That's good. So chaining um, one convert. Um, yeah. And then chaining two converter. Yeah. Again, not used Bring to back. how this program handles, but we'll get there. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Cool. Just in and case anyone's not up. familiar with speeder, you have to summon every possible level you can, and it's mandatory, right? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, should I activate Stardust mm -hmm. Synchron? Yeah, you want to search uh, Illumination. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, so uh, so, uh, so once you get to this point, seeing as 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 what he has now is we want to be able to TK now. Oh wait, we Dark Wheeler. So okay, so the so main TK doesn't the main either. objective, yeah. So the main objective now is try to make a satellite warrior while um while filling up the grave with a bunch of synchros. So and then after that have enough um, resources to end on like a like a like omni negate and stuff. All right. So in order to do that, we need to get access to double. And then in order to do that, we have to rely on the on the ruler mill. So we're gonna have to go illumination. So this is gonna mill something, right? Yeah, the stardust. Yeah, and then um, we're gonna go into Chaos Ruler with just the junk and the uh, and the speeder. Uh, extra monster zone doesn't matter. Yeah, it has to be extra monster zone. I know it matters Neither at some enough. point, so I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, and we gotta hit the doppel. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. We hit it. I think we will it's take exactly this here. Doppel. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Okay, so then now we go. We go into one, two. Okay, this is the biggest, the biggest part of the deck: anticipation. 
because you don't want to get clogged. Because, so, for example, right, some people might might do Stardust effect tribute to Chaos Ruler because oh, I can recur itself. But then you you'll clog up your field because you'll have Stardust Synchron and Stardust Trail, and you won't be able to sub in the Doppel. So you're gonna have to tribute the Stardust Synchron. You say Stardust <clears throat> tribute Synchron. Yeah. All right. And then you trigger Trail. Oh. In the graveyard. All right. Trail will then okay. summon a token, right? Oh, it summons itself. Uh, it's only when it's Synchro summoned with for a Stardust or, or a Synchro. And then now you trigger Doppel. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, we only have a minute 35, which, I mean, we're moving at a decent pace. Let's just like, keep that yeah, in mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so then now we have to, like, make room, right? So we're going to make a level 8 with uh, the Trail and the Stardust, which okay. would be Omega. Trail and Stardust. Yeah. All right. Okay. And but no. And then we're gonna make a uh, uh, TG with uh, Doppel and Junk. So zones don't matter right now anymore, right? No, right now they don't matter now. Okay. And then now you're gonna you're gonna rip with Omega to make more room. Okay. And then now you climb into the shaman play. So shaman's gonna. All, this, back. all all that's happening now is we're just generating a lot of synchros to give uh satellite enough um ammo. Uh, so we're gonna go for the doppel. We get room for two. And... Oh no, because um the doppel will clog you once you so make the cupid pitch. Just one, yeah, just one. Gotcha. All right. More doubles. And then you go for the Cupid Pitch. This is why Cupid Pitch was amazing when it, when, when, when it got introduced. I was like, oh my, this is so good. All right. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to reduce. Yeah, we're going to reduce. So it's the mandatory. Oh, we have a... And oh, it then, keeps giving us time. All right. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, yes, double tokens. Double tokens. All right. And we're okay. going to... You said reduce? Yeah, reduce. Okay. And then want to go into Meta Marcher. And what are we bringing back with Marcher? We're going to bring back... Oh, the, you got to search. So you get a burn and you get the... We're going to bring back... Let's bring back... Uh... Do we have to bring back a Stardust? No, oh, no Stardust. Yeah, I think we have to bring back a Stardust because we want to make Excel and then Excel will reduce itself by sending the junk. <clears throat> All right, start a synchron. Yeah, as long as we don't draw junk here, we're okay. That's fine. And then we go into um, Excel. Oh. All we're, we're just generating um, synchros just to get bodies in the grave. All right, start us yeah, and start token. token. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so you use uh, yeah Excel's effect. What do we? You send, send the junk synchron. Okay. Up or down? And decrease. Decrease. Okay. Okay. So now let's let's let's, let's count the sinkers in our grave. How many sinkers do we have? Uh, one, one, two, two three. three. And then once we make the 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 two materials, that'll be five, right? So yeah. one, two, three, four. That'll be that'll be his entire board, correct? Uh, yeah. We, yeah. That's okay. That's it. Okay. So then now we can go the satellite now, with uh, chaos ruler and uh, yeah. Oh, whoops. Not good because we're running out of time. So let me try okay, right. to not screw this up. Okay, and just pop everything. Just click on everything. Uh, all right. Bah. Ah, we lost the time. It's okay. It's okay. But we we were well aware we would have won this. Okay, uh, yeah, so I don't think we drew enough cards, but you know it was pretty good. Um. Yeah. Well, okay, so else? we're going so, first. <laughs> I guess we just side everything back. Yeah, just yeah, just put everything back how it was. All right. And then we um. Is there anything and... specific we should keep in just for the matchup? Okay, so you okay the dark rulers come out. Um, you put in the judgments and the and your and your order. All right. And then you take out take out the the droplets because like uh, judgments are better than droplets at this point. Um. All right. And then we're gonna go. What else? Even leaves out. 
Yeah, even these out for sure. Even these out. Reboot. Yeah. Take out reboot. Yeah. And then what else? Put in. Put back in the. Call the Caligo. Yeah, Caligo and the call by. All right. Swap. Yep. And that should be. Yeah, that should be good. That oh, should do we want the mid breaker field, or do they not play things that, where that matters? Um, no, because they can play around it. Because they, they made a book, right? And they could just do it in a standby phase, unless they're unaware of that. You know. I mean, we're going first, so I mean, more for protecting our play. Like they might play imperm, right? Yeah, I guess, I guess we can take out we can take out a tuning, take out a tuning for it. All right. Uh, good yeah, to go. Very good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. So the so, so post game one. Oh, this is not good. This is you drew. We drew all of our one ofs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is not great. So okay. So just set the trail because it has pretty high defense, and we're kind of hoping at this point, knowing the matchup, is that we hope they don't open open up the the field spell because that means their normal summon is very um very vulnerable, right? So we just set that. And then the following turn, we have a speeder play by normal summoning the normal summoning the the cyber swing ground. All right, so we're kind of hoping they that should've... judgment does one deals with the big problem. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Oh, they like it should have been a two zero like easily, but it's just yeah, you know well, <laughs> we should not be in a situation, but yeah, it's just it's just how it is sometimes. But yeah, um, well, he doesn't imperm, have this. So we'll be playing around imperm next turn, no matter what. Yeah. I think it should be. Uh, I think it should be okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is nice. That means he didn't open up combo. Hmm. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. Now we go converter. Converter effect. Discarding the. the this back. is fine. What? <laughs> what did people side Lancia versus this? Is this, this, uh, this is quite common. People side like Lancia, and it, uh, it makes no sense. I mean, it stops some plays, but like not really. Yeah, go converter. What do I pitch? Uh, let's discard the cybers. Yeah. And we're going to search for Stardust to go on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then now we're going to summon. And he's he, he most likely going to go, um, uh, Imperm, right? But yeah. Summon the, the, uh, did we summon that? I think we summon Junk. We summon Junk. And he's most likely going to Imperm this. Oh, but no, 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 no. Because it's asking you to respond with your card. Ah, I don't think I want to do that. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. Imperm here. Well, I mean, no matter when he imperms, we can just judgment it. Yeah, but I'm just thinking of whether if we want to... Okay, oh, this is... Oh, he has Nibiru then. He has Nibiru. This is fine. Don't flip your trail yet, because that means it won't get tributed off if um yeah, if he does have Nibiru. It's face-up cards just for everyone viewing. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now we could go straight into speeder. I, I, he's waiting for speeder, but at, at that point, it's not gonna not gonna matter. Cause well, we're gonna be able to chain block. So. Um, oh, members of uh, cancel because he's asking you to uh, respond with home. Yeah, I don't really and, want yeah. to judgment. Uh, what do we bring back? Cybers. Uh. We need level one. I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's bring back cybers. Oh, you were meant to do Chainlink one converter. Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, I mean uh, speeder. Oh, it's still letting me pick or something. Yeah. Oh, I oh, think you missed me where the, to put things. I got a little mixed up. Wait, did it not let me do speeder? Oh man. Oh no, it did. But I think you pressed no. <laughs> oh man. One day I'll get used to this program. This is a new one it's for me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Uh, so we now we have to flip the we have to flip that guy now. Okay. Okay, so then now we're gonna go. We can go. What can we do here? I mean, can we just guess... OTK <laughs> through Imperm. I mean, we couldn't. We could OTK, if we, uh, but I think we have to to consider that he might have um, Nibiru. So I think we go. This is weird because he might have just drawn a bunch of hand traps. Because we know he added the. What did he add? The he added Imperm and. Uh... Lancia is what he used. If I check the log. Um, I think I know what we can do. I think uh I think I think I think we could I think we're gonna have to go for a, a just a very simplified game state. So we go on to Excel to get a token, right? Uh, with these two? Okay. Yeah. Uh 
keeps asking I'll me to judgment no. myself. And put a yes, chilling one. Yeah. All right. Infirm. Do we care okay, about that? Okay, that's okay. Yeah, we'll let that go through. It's fine. All right. Okay. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> so then we, should, we could just make Baroness. Baroness with a speeder and Excel. I don't know why I put it there. All right. And then now we can tribute the token for Stardust Synchron and then trigger trail. And you want to search Illumination, but yes. And no. Yeah, yeah. YG Omega is a little harder to handle here for me, but you know, figure it out. Yeah, it, it, it's like that at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's 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 pretty smooth. All right. Um, and then we just go. I think we just go eight, make it Omega. But then, yeah, I think we go Omega. Yeah, this is this is the play. I make Omega. And then just attack for fifty eight. All right. Oh, that's right! They don't get banished because of Lancia! <laughs> that is so good! Cool. I that completely forgot about follow. that. Yeah, that's, he actually helped us out. That's insane. Right. Okay. Anything and else? And then I guess we just, we just foolish the, the Stardust now, so we won't have to draw it later. Okay, let me not play into the Imperm column. Alright. Uh, end phase? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go end phase now because we can't banish because of Lancia. Okay, so then now we have Judgment and and uh, an Omni, and we have... Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. He, it's either going to be Mystic Mind or the, the Field Spell itself. Okay, yeah, it's going to be that. So I think we... When he activates the effect, right? All right. Or should we just hit it now? About to move oh. to the next phase. Is he trying to try and evenly us? I think he is. Just go uh, Omega. Omega Rip. Is it beneficial to potentially? I guess we might hit like a. Oh, we just rise up. So oh, hit the monarch. That's good. Okay. Talents. Which one to take? Draw two cards. Um, you have to negate this because otherwise you get overwhelmed. Okay, so he has a field spell, right? Yeah. Okay, so now it's a matter of. Well, he didn't have a normal uh, before, or it was a bad normal. Yeah, so I think wow, this is rough. This, okay, these are the, these are the games you're always gonna be um, going up against because it's, it's a matter of all: oh, do I stop it here? Do I not? You know, because like if he doesn't have any normal, he can't. I think we have to negate this. I, yeah, I think we have to. We just have to risk it. Yeah, I don't think he has. Because like, normal. if he doesn't have anything, it's over. Like, if, if he, he like he needs to have Rubina and like Ego Ten, but even the oh yeah 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 he just, just yeah it's, yeah he doesn't have anything. <clears throat> well, he has to have <clears throat> another low level one, which was possible. Yeah, it's over. Oh, that was so close. I, I mean, this should have clearly been a 2 -0. Like, but, but yeah, like, yeah, that was that was pretty crazy. All right, cool. Uh, let's go back to the main screen and begin our long wait for a second game. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, okay, so you, you kind of get the idea, right? Oh. How to play it now. And that was, that was a pretty, like, shifter. Like, that was pretty insane. Oh, we're going second. Okay, this is going to go ahead. Oh, this is exactly why you play um, Dropless and Imperm. For these particular, unless you unless you're going up against like a background deck, then that's when it's like, oh damn. And but that's that's one of the main uh, deck building. Um, I guess what would I call it? Like it's uh, the it's a, it, it, you have to, yeah. Like I guess the theory behind it would be like, oh we're, oh swords over link is just swords over. This is nice. Um, we're de we're debating on whether to main deck a, p a particular for, for a particular deck, right? Let's say we're going we main deck cards for. A backward deck or main deck cards for like a build a board deck, and that's where it, it's like hit or miss because it the deck is oh, what the well, that's probably blackout, and he's probably got nothing else, maybe hand traps. Interesting, this is very interesting because if it's blackout, well, we have to. Hmm, I mean, his monster's only got a thousand attack, we could literally just kill it and then do everything, assuming it is blackout. 
Yeah, but this hand is kind of weird because if it is blackout, because we could, we could easily beat over it, right? But then after the f oh, it's okay. So okay, okay. So the only okay, the only way we lose here is if he has like an like a like an imperm or an ash or a veiler because we can go battle phase. We can go summon start synchro battle phase. Um. I think that's the only play we got because if we do, if we play into oh, well not exactly. We can go overtake. Like overtake into yeah special. Into yeah, what am, I, what am I talking about? Yeah, you go. Yeah, special over special jungle synchro. Well, this might Unless also bait out any hand trap that there is. Yeah, and if he does ash this, then we still have the the, the illumination play, which is nice. Yeah, but this is meant to be the most consistent deck, right? Sort of so. I mean, one of the best decks, and it bricked. Like that's that, that's just like you, you should take account for these type of scenarios because like although it's one of the best decks, it is not like an exception to not breaking, you know, special. Then we just go battle phase, and just shut off the blackout. But again, assuming it is blackout, there's always a chance it's something else. And it's yeah. good. he doesn't seem to have Zathana, you know, the water one that could be problematic. Yeah. All right. And now we go. Yeah, now we go for the the junk. Uh, for them, I mean the the doppel. Yeah, I forget that. That's what we could search with the rota. Unless he has ash. Oh, he did have ash. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if we should play into the blackout or, you know. Well, we might want to set the imperm behind it so that if he just tries to, he might just summon a monster then activate blackout. Oh, uh, I mean in that case we have to summon the junk the the stardust then just to search an elimination. Okay. Yeah. And it just gives us, gives us um, we can actually like not be afraid to send it off droplets. And then we just set, I think we just set everything, right? Uh, What do you want to set? Imperm in the column and then? Yeah, Imperm in the column. And then? And then the, no, we, we keep the illumination in hand. Okay. And then we set the droplets. Uh, do we set droplets? Well, it's got me committed now. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. All right. I, I think like that's fine. That's That, that should be okay. I guess we'll hold one just as like a backup play if we have to like drop let everything off the board at least we have an imperm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Cuz he um let's see. He needs to draw anything, anything. What's this? Protos. Protos. He's activating blackout. Okay. So I guess we just imperm that. Yeah, we imperm. We hit Oh, this is perfect. This is Oh my god, this is perfect. So Protoss can't wow. be card effects, or that was its effect. Um, we can always like drop it when he declares an attack and just like make him lose attack points. Yeah, but I think I, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think if we actually let it go through. Well, he is attacking Stardust and Crown. We might need it to come back from Grave. Oh no, we. I think we have to kill it because in case he has another blackout. Yeah, we have to kill it, so we have to do it that way. So right. I think we just maybe discard. Ah, oh, I, I kind of want to discard the the imperm because. Oh, but then I don't know because how how are we gonna get the starter sync to graveyard to trigger trail? You um, know. Not sure. Fuck! This is weird. Because well, that's the only attacking it, so we do have to keep this on board for the battle to continue. Yeah, that is true. Maybe mm. we... I think that's the Imperm is correct. I don't know. I'm not sure. I kind of want to, I, I kind of want to let it go through because, like, the odds of him having another blackout, like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I that's fine. He might have said it before if he had it. Um, yeah. Also, we might yeah, need another Imperm to stop the Protoss on the follow-up. Yeah, or, like, maybe a Kamoe summon. Oh yes! Oh my god, no no blackout. That's amazing. Oh perfect! Yes! Speeder! Summon is he's no more summon this. Alright. Time to chain block. Um fast effect? No. Okay. Don't wanna screw this up again. Speeder. Yeah, so ch chain link one speeder, chain link two converter, okay? Alright, I'm gonna put it in the extra monster zone in attack yes. position. Now it says, do I'm I cool. wanna activate his effect? But there are two effects, and oh, I scooped. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. afraid I press yes to the effect, and it like forces me to play it in a certain order. All right. 
Oh no, once you put yes, um, it'll give you the option to chain link in an order you want. Okay, because it felt like I was being forced, which is kind of what happened in the other game. Anyways, um, mm. Sword Soul, thoughts? Uh, okay, so we have to put in the the Dark Wooter because of uh, he has the the Chi Chao and uh, Baron, his own Baroness, and he has Blackout as well. So I think we take out oh, once again two things are always always the cards you side out because. You get you give up a bit of consistency for a bit of resiliency because you want to have the side deck cards for that matchup, you know. So you, it, it's not it's not so bad. Um, so those are out for sure, and I, we have to put it evenly because evenly with either dark ruler or droplets breaks nearly any board, right? So it shuts off the blackout and it shuts off the, the their established board. So maybe take out. Really, um, depending on taking out the talents. Hmm. Yeah, I think talents. They decided that they did not want to play another game. Uh, so <laughs> I guess that's that game. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I have another idea. I, I don't think we're going to do another game because that's going to take a while. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you down to do like one combo run just so we can do one slow-mo combo run just so everyone knows what to do? Yeah, go for it. All right, cool. Quick question. How do you do that on here? <laughs> So we just go first against the bot and hopefully it doesn't have any hand traps. All right. Did we yeah. open combo? Yeah, this is still combo. Okay. Like that, that's the thing that the deck has. It, it, it's consistent. It's just a matter like what I mentioned was I was um, talking about um, earlier is um, it's a hit or miss because you either main deck stuff for backward decks or you main deck stuff for build the boards. And like it's the, that's like the hit or miss part where you draw the backward hate versus like a combo deck or you draw like the... the like the Ninibs, the Imperms, the Veilers versus the backward deck. That's where the deck really, I guess, has the issues. Like, being, just not being able to uh, to get it right. And that's, that's I guess, in deck building theory, that's where you have to really, really, um, um, I guess, try to figure it out. Okay, so um, we have the 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 converter play, right? So we go converter, discard the Cyber Stream card because we are able to bring it back. Junk? Yeah, Junk Stream all right. And this is where a deck has. This is what Caligo does for the deck. Um, it gives it a little bit of resiliency because if you if the junk is vulnerable at this point, right? They stop. Let's say they stop it, right? Then you can just special Caligo and still go speeder. That's the main purpose of Caligo. All right. And then right here you get speeder. Gotta go fast. Come on, speeder. All right. So I press cool. yes. And then yes. click on the hover. The, oh yeah. Oh, no. Okay. You see how they're glowing? Yeah. That's the give you the option to click on that. All right. Um, what am I bringing yeah. back here? Cybers? Uh, yeah, Cybers. <clears throat> All right. At no point did it really feel like I had the opportunity to uh, use the, yeah. uh, no, it, the junk. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. It takes a while to get used to, but like once you get the hang of it, it's, it's pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, I go over a single uh, illumination and then send trail. Yeah. And then normally, if you don't have access to another starter sync run, um, you're gonna have to like reduce the starter on field to get at the grave. But in this case, we do have access to starter sync run, so we don't have to use the level manipulation. So in this case, we have to get to doppel because that's how we uh, um, extend our board, right? Because mm -hmm. the tokens generate you so much advantage. So in order in order for us to do that, we have to go for the mill. Yeah, exactly. That's the that's the part of prosperity for the deck. All right, pot of prosperity for five, please. The, the, we want to hit Doppel here. Hey. There he is. There he is. Okay, that's exactly what it's I meant to do. I think I'll take Add that. Doppel to him. Okay, so then now, since we, our field isn't as clogged, because normally we have one more body, because uh, unfortunately we drew the Cyber Team gun, but this is nice. This is still good. So what we can do here, we can go... Uh, we have to leave the Cyber Team gun there, because that's going to be our level one for the Shaman. So I think we go um, Stardust, Team in hand, Tribute to the Chaos Ruler. And then we trigger trail in the graveyard. And then now we trigger double. Okay. okay so, then, so then now we're going to use the level manipulation of illumination in the graveyard. We're going to reduce one of the starter sync runs. It doesn't matter which one. It just, we just got to reduce one of them. Decrease. There okay. Is. And then that's how we get our librarian with doppel and uh, starters. Because you want to get librarian out as as um, as fast as possible to generate all those resources like draw, 
and um, get to your hand traps, get to your um, your droplets to reinforce your your established board because dark wheeler droplets are a real thing. So if the board fails, then your back row won't fail, you know? Gotcha. Uh, to the extra monster zone? Yeah. Because we need to have room for the tokens. Okay. And then, so yes. Finding room for the tokens is important. Got yeah, it. it's very important. Okay, so then now we can go the Shaman Client. Well, we can go Omega. Let's just let's, let's go Omega here, just to make some room. Um, with Synchron and Trail? With the Trail and the Stardust. All right. Okay, we're going to draw. Oh, nice call with the grip. And then now we just climb with... Uh... Should I have Omega take a, take a hike? Um, well, how many level 2s do we have in Grave? One, two, there's three, a lot goes. of there's the uh, okay, yeah, the yeah, we, we're gonna have to banish the put the mega. So, so that's one card that's like a, basically an omni, right? Because we don't really, we don't, you know, they don't get a card, they don't get to play it. So, now we go to the, the shaman climb, shaman will eventually turn into a cupid, and cupid will eventually turn into a meta marcher. So, one, two, um, I think at this point you can summon two of two of them, so doppel for sure, and a converter doesn't really matter for the second one, right. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. And then at this point, it should be fine. Okay. Oh, we drew Dawnwalker. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so the, the Dawnwalker could can potentially turn into a, a Baroness. And then the, the Ant can turn into a Herald, potentially. So right now, we're just going to not think about that right now. We're going to just go into the Cupid climb. So Cupid with uh, that and the, um, that one. Yeah, the double. And we're going to reduce... So see how they're glowing? That gives you the option to, to select which one. Oh, um, I think I picked the choice too quickly here, which is why it yeah, no, it's it one. It's okay. uh, reduce? Yes, reduce. Okay. And then, um, so at this point, um, we typically don't like to search the synchrons because we want to be able to have the option to level module. But... Oh, we drew all the crows. Yeah, and we we still we can still summon it because we haven't summoned this effect. So we're going to go to Meta Marcher here. Meta Marcher. Start climbing. Yeah. Draw. Oh, and we're, we're going to go for... Let's go into... I think we can just bring back Huh. This is where it gets kind of weird. This is where the matchup matters, right? Because if you look in the extra deck, right? You have the option to make a Herald because Herald is really good versus Drytron and versus Tri-Brigade or Leerless. But it's really bad versus like backward decks, you know? That's where you have to really... It's really dependent. So right now we can literally... Uh, maybe we should go big because we'll have the, the Dawnwalker to try and get into a lot of those plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just bring back Shaman. Bring back Shaman? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so then now we can just go into I've the uh, marcher into who Excel? Yeah, marcher and uh, converter. Yeah. Do we cool. send anything? Okay, draw. Nah, uh, we we that we bring back uh, chaos ruler. Oh, we drew. Th oh, we drew the last junk synchron. That's not good. Oh. All right. Um. What is our light pitch and one of the crows, I guess. Uh. Now what? Oh, we can't reduce by three. That's the problem, right? Yeah, that's the issue because we drew a last synchron. Okay. Well, people um, got to get used to getting adjusted on the fly with how this deck works. Yeah. Okay, so then we go Baroness. We go Baroness with Shaman and uh, Chaos Reader. All right. Whoops. All right. What's it asking me to use? Oh, the Baroness thing eight. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll do okay. that. Okay. Right. Uh, we can charge. Just drama. <laughs> Yeah, make charge just just to draw things. 
put yes. Okay, and then now we can just summon Dawnwalker. We're probably gonna run out of time. Discard anything at this point. Yeah, and summon the ants. Well, hopefully everyone saw that we were gonna get a Herald there with the <laughs> level three tuner. Yeah. That that's the security of this deck. Like you, you had, your your options are, are quite limitless, uh, 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 essentially, right? But um, it's really dependent on on what the matchup is. That's how you know exactly what to do. You know, because like otherwise you're just freestyling, you're just so overwhelmed with all the options. You're like, oh, what do I do? What do I want to do? So it's like you know, it's just constantly contemplating. Like, oh, what if he's playing this? And I better play. I better make this because he might. When you're building your, your 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 board, and that's something that um, you have to highly consider when you're when you're playing the deck, because there's no real wrong or right. Because how could you know? You know, it, you it's can invest a Omega way a card and hopefully get some information. I guess. Yeah, that, that's like the only audio is cutting out here and there. Just a heads up. It's <laughs> my Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's all good. Well, I think we mostly get the general idea of the sequence, um, yeah. which seems to have a little bit of variance, and uh, we needed the Junk Synchron to stay in the deck for the Excel. Like, I'm trying to think of anything else in the combo itself that was worth noting um, up front. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's very, yeah, it's very, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting deck for sure. Like, it's a deck that you have to really, like, put in the time. To try to figure it out because otherwise like you'll have some you definitely get decision paralysis i was definitely i have no idea what to do and uh <laughs> usually when i pick yeah. a deck for these okay. videos uh they're a lot simpler so whoever i put on the spot can like come up with a play fairly quickly I, we've done this like three times this is like the third time we've done this every time you've always taken yeah. your time a little bit which always freaks me out because everybody plays faster but at the same time yeah. this version i think compared to like any other version of this deck that there's been in the past uh, is a little more free form in where you're going. Yeah, the the scissors are just quite. Long, right? <laughs> well, if anyone wants to see specifically like decisions made towards specific matchups, like you've just posted like a hundred thousand high rated duels on DB. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which are great. They're pretty short, and uh, you get to hear uh, some cool music every time we synchro. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. So let's go back to the deck list real quick and just discuss maybe some other things that you've tried in the past, any thoughts on them, and then uh, we'll sign off. Yeah, go for it. Cool. All right, is there any other like card de decisions or choices that you've tried in the past that... Uh... Yeah. One of, one of the main, um, I guess, discussions about, about the deck itself is, right, What because I've always mentioned this, don't be afraid to go over 40 because it's one of those decks that you don't really mind as long as the intent is is, is correct right um i guess the percentages and, and ratios shouldn't affect your your variance all too much that's like what if, you're saying not, right? ratios is a myth yeah exactly because like if your intent is uh, to do a particular thing and everything you add and implement uh i guess accomplish a similar similar role it should not affect you of course you have those like small marginal like percentages where oh what if you draw like this what if you draw like that like but that's like with any deck no matter the ratio like the amount of times you can draw a one of like constantly whether it be a good one of or a bad one of that's always going to happen it's always going to be there of course you can use it as like a fundamental blueprint of how to build your deck and be the most optimal but once you start stressing over going keeping it at 40 because you don't know whether to, you know, like, I think that's a bit like, it's a bit excessive at times because it's just stress you don't need because on top of, depending on if you're a casual player or a competitive player, like that's, that's the stress enough when you go to a tournament, you want to do well, right? You, you, you invested so much, so much time, effort, and you want to, to count or something. And to have that little, that little <laughs> ratio discussion of, of what you shouldn't be, I'm not saying to play like a bunch of vanillas, right? I'm just saying like, if you pick a set of cards that do essentially the same thing or contribute to something that you're intending to do, it should not affect you going above 40. It, it'll just increase the variance, and if they have synergy enough and a lot of synergy with with themselves, it should be it should work out okay. Um, but one of the of, things I'm also a fan of having multiple cards that are uh, usable in the same turn. So like if you just add in another card that lets you get an extra summon, you know, as long as it doesn't prevent your other summons, like drawing both of them isn't a big deal. 
And, yeah, uh, exactly. Like drawing three junk is isn't going to be any different than drawing like um, the Dawn Walker and the junk. Like you, you want both instead of being multiples. When you try to like play like a forty card deck, you you wind up drawing more multiples because you don't have room for the alternative cards or the extra cards. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, which is one of the conversations we were talking about on Wolf Grunt's Discord is the the role that Walker has, right? Because essentially, it's basically a level eight synchro, and if um, if you recall, the, the newest, most recent ban list um, brought teleport to two, right? Yeah. So um, that's the other engine you can use because like Walker is quite not too expensive, but but like considering the deck, it's like, like investing. In, um, yeah, like it's quite a bit, like it's like almost like forty bucks for a set, right? So um, the an alternative would be um side reflector, and uh, it's a budget version. Side reflector is like like a dollar card, you know. And you can utilize it with uh, teleport, and teleport just got reprinted as well, so it's uh, it's quite more accessible. But the issue with that one is um, having to uh, to play the the two bricks to fulfill the same purpose. So that's that's always the conversation because it's it's good in a sense that you have tele teleport at two, uh, one for one at one. So that's three copies of a card that you can. It's a one card um, ruler instead of a two card ruler. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But the drawback is playing those garnets like ah oh, like inconsistencies will be there right like that's the only issue but that's something we just go back and forth on. and then main decking like uh like i said like if you, if you if you look at every card that's in the main deck right like the droplets and the and the 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 imperms right and then the tactics like all that it's 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 built to combat going second and i guess versus build the boards right because that's like one of the main decks that that you struggle against because like if you open up all engine you sometimes if their board isn't as optimal, you can push past like a few interactions, right? But you rather just nullify the board and just play freely. But then the issue is um, in game one is if you go against a back row deck, the imperms and the droplets do little to nothing, which is why the side deck is the way it is. Because like you just you main deck triple triple duster reboot um, feather so and kind of made a call people. as to what you're gonna main for. Yeah. Yeah, because because at the time, at the moment, we have like DPE, we have um, Drytron making the ultimateness, we have um, the the scythe lock, which is quite annoying, um, and then you have the bird up the board, right? It's 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 just overwhelming. It's kind of hard to push past all that. So just yeah. nullifying the board and being able to just just play is 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 really nice. Yeah, um, I'm you on can... mine for like my ways of dealing with all those problems because, uh, but I don't think it would work in here just because how much how many monsters you have to summon to do anything. Yeah, that that yeah, that's something that was considered, but like, you just the amount of resources you generate is like, oh, you something to get locked into your own mystic mind. <laughs> um, and then one of the other main, uh, I guess, big ones was main decking tuning or not. Like there was there was a brief moment I cut tunings, like uh, just to fulfill like like main deck um, twisters or something, just to deal with whatever it might be, you know. But that's 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 basically the the main. The main changes that you would consider when playing this deck because it's it seems soft like it's it's pretty soft like it's uh you know it's just unless we get new support um this is basically the standard build like this is the core of the all right so oh. um i think that's gonna wrap this up uh leo you want to plug yourself properly um from your own perspective oh yeah sure sure um if you guys want to learn more about this deck and um get the thought process of deck building because the deck's ever changing the deck's always changing, whether it's one card, two card, you know? It gets very peculiar in, in, in some of the ratios and some of the, the card choices because it's more it's more of like a feel type of thing where you go, oh, this, this like, let's say, for example, right? Let's say you're always losing to Lion Storm. You're going to be influenced to, like, main deck a particular card to combat Lion Storm. Or if you're always losing to Nibiru, you're going to be inclined to just main deck stuff to, to, to combat Nibiru. Like, it's all subjective deck building, right? But more or less, we're all in the same, um, I guess, uh, phase of the deck. Because ever since Dawn of Majesty was um, released, the deck has been gradually just changing back and forth, implementing cards we tried in the past. And um, yeah, if you want to learn anything about that, just just um, <laughs> go to my channel and join the Wolfgrounds Discord and you'll get more update um, cool. progress on the deck. All right, cool. Thanks again, Leo. Uh, if everybody enjoyed YGO Omega for the first time on the channel, um, let me know in the <laughs> comments. Uh, 
I did this for Leo. I purpose personally was not thrilled to try it just because uh, thank I, you, thank I, knew, you so I didn't know what I was going to do. And just like in terms of pressing <laughs> buttons, I tried my best. I hope, I hope I didn't screw it up too bad. You know, uh, summon junk speeder, summon nothing. Uh, yeah. Pretty wild. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, man, it was great. Uh, everybody hit the subscribe button. Go to see Leo. Hit the subscribe there as well. Like the video. And we'll see you yeah, whenever we do this again after more support comes out in like another year. We'll do it again. <laughs> see ya. Right, cool. Adios. All right.